Selfies seem to be the epitome of today's self-obsessed youth, but did you know that people were taking pictures of themselves since the camera was invented? Well, today I want to share with you five selfies of art history. To qualify as a selfie, the photo must be clearly taken by the person in the photo, so at arm's length, in a mirror, or with a trigger, so self-timers aren't going to be included in this bunch. Let's start off with the oldest selfie, shall we? Here is the earliest known self-portrait by Robert Cornelius. He was an American pioneer in photography, and this process is called a daguerreotype. It involves polishing a sheet of silver-plated copper until it had a mirror-like finish, and then it was treated with some chemicals to make it light-sensitive. So when you put it in the camera and the light hits the surface, it has a chemical reaction and the image becomes fixed onto the plate. It's treated with some more chemicals so that it becomes uh, non-light sensitive so you can actually take it out. And then it's rinsed, dried, and sealed behind glass. Definitely more of an investment than our iPhone pics today. Ilse Bing was a German avant-garde and commercial photographer during the interwar era. Dubbed the Queen of Leica, she was a versatile photographer who worked in photojournalism, architectural photography, advertising, and fashion. Her work was published in Le Monde Illustré, Harper's Bazaar, and Vogue. She's known for her unexpected and daring perspectives in cropping, use of natural light, and geometries. She also developed a type of solarization for negatives, a process similar to one developed by Man Ray, an American artist who spent most of his career in France and was an important contributor to Dada and Surrealist movements. Ouija was a photographer and photojournalist who worked in Manhattan as a press photographer during the 1930s and 40s. He's particularly known for his work following the city's emergency services and documenting their activity. They were unflinchingly realistic scenes of urban life, crime, injury, and death, but also the outcasts, nudists, circus performers, freaks, and street people. Throughout his career, Ouija shot over 1,500 self-portraits. This one is his reflection in a humorously distorted funhouse mirror. Lee Freelander is an American photographer. Many of his photographs deal with the urban social landscape. They're often detached images of urban life, like storefronts, street signs, and cars. And there's certainly no shortage of selfies here. Vivian Mayer took over 150,000 photographs, but they remained unknown and unpublished throughout her life. In fact, she never really showed them to anyone and most were never even developed. She worked as a nanny but pursued photography in her spare time. Most were people and the architecture in New York City, Los Angeles, and Chicago. She traveled the world to take photographs but near the end of her life she struggled to make ends meet. As a result, her belongings were auctioned off. Some of her photos were acquired by a Chicago collector in 2007, and two other collectors found her work in boxes and suitcases around the same time. Her work was published for the first time in 2008 online by Slatery, but it wasn't until October 2009 when the first collector linked his blog to Flickr, and her photos went viral. So there's five artists who took selfies. Let me know what is your favorite selfie in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video, please check out my previous five in five episodes. Please like and subscribe if you haven't. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time.